This is the ProLogic SafeLock system from SecureM Systems. You can tell the ProLogic because A, it says its name there, but it has an LCD screen, so when you touch any of the buttons, the LCD screen wakes up. The LCD screen shows you a number of things. It shows you the date and time, and it shows you the level of the battery, as well as gives you an option to select the menu system you want to get into. So when you press on that, you can scroll up and down to do different things on the menu, and we'll get into all of those in this series of videos. To turn the screen off, just hit the back button. The ProLogic comes with two default codes, 111111, that's the super code, and 123456, that's the manager code. Let's go ahead and enter the super code to open. 111111. You'll see it says ID 00 verified, and then it says lock open six seconds. So you turn the handle and you can open the door. The ProLogic, specifically the audit version models, also indicate door closed. So I'll close the door and you'll see that message come up on the screen. This indicates that the lock bolt has gone back to its locked position. With the ProLogic, the first thing you want to do is understand if you want this lock to have 10 users or 30 users. And then once you've decided that, you have the option of determining what password length or code length the uh, consumer or the uh, customer is going to be using. Now let me describe the uh, code lengths. By default, this lock comes to you with six digit code and only 10 users set up. We do that because UL requires a code length of six digits is uh, appropriate for up to 10 users. Once you go beyond 10 users, you have to increase the length of the code. So we give you three options. You can have a six digit code and 10 users. You can have an eight digit code or 30 users, and both of those are UL approved. Or you can choose to have a six digit code with 30 users and not worry about UL. So those are your options, but that's the first thing you want to decide, and then you need to set the lock up appropriately. We'll cover setting up number of users and code length in the next video.